Well, the time has come, the walrus said, to think of many things. Like giant stuff in the Walmart boxes that the UPS guy brings. I'm Nick in the States, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the big project guitar. Now, I have a couple other small projects going, but this is a competition. So, my buddy Danny and I are kicking off a contest. We both bought the same exact guitar, same specs, same everything, um, for the bargain value price of $79 US shipped to us. I think actually it was $84 because of tax. $84. And what we're going to do is then spend up to $200 a piece total, so another $100, to make them as good as they can be. To see how low can you go. Can you actually, for the 200 bucks that you get some pretty good guitars from like Harley Benton or, or the used market or whatever. But let's see what we can make ourselves and can we make something that is classically shaped, looks correct, be something that's a hell of a lot of fun. So... As part of that, <clears throat> this is mine. Danny got his uh, as well. Big boy Walmart box. I'm going to switch the camera down and we're going to open it. Okie dokie. I went online to the internet today and all I saw was a big box. There's a joke in there somewhere, if you're of age. <clears throat> Ta-da! Well, Walmart definitely is economical with their filler packing paper. But what we have here is... Dum, dum, dum. I probably should that. It is a Maestro by Gibson SG Junior with an amp and a strap and some picks and a cable and some strings that are probably already on the guitar. Um, all as a full player pack. So, excess paper. That's that. Now, let's jump into this thing, shall we? And for that, all packages take normal standard Schlage key. Just that. That's it. So yes, these were on rollback. It's what Walmart calls sale. For $79 for a little while. They're now, I think, $99. They have them in black. Tobacco sunburst, and occasionally in cherry, but the cherry seems to sell out the quickest. Come on! Did I miss a piece of tape, or is it just. It doesn't want to come out! Ta da! I will tell you that that's pretty well packed. Now, first, the junkie box. And this has a strap guaranteed to irritate your deck. A guitar cable guaranteed to assist in irritating your neighbors and or spouse. A musical training CD guaranteed to annoy everybody who hears you play it. An extra set of oh so quality strings. So and some super thick maestro guitar picks. Alan! Hi, Alan! That's my dad! He's also named Alan! Some manuals, some warranties, stuff! Next! 100% non valve amplification! This Due to my intensive research, if you're going to spend this much of your hard-earned money, it always makes sense to do research. My intensive research has shown that this is a GM-05 amplifier, offering both clean and driven tones, with a gain and master volume, and a 4-inch speaker, and a 3-prong plug, and a high likelihood to perhaps be just bad enough to be hilarious. Ah. That, my friends, 
is the GM05. Whoa! This much power comes great responsibility. Single tone, volume, gain, a drive on and off. We will have fun with this little guy. Yeah, should be fun. But it has a kickstand. Woohoo! Woohoo! Kickstand closed. Some other greater known amps like Fenders, you have to pay extra to get those little standy things. That comes stock, folks. What a deal. And a one pager on all of those features and how to use it and what they each are. Cool stuff. All right. Let's look at the main event, shall we? This over here. Put this up. Oh, God, we're taped in and locked and loaded. So we'll do that. Now, this does come with... It's actually not a plasticky shroud. It's actually almost fabric-y. It's slightly different. That's a, it's more shroudy-like than the average shroud. It ties around the top. This is great if you want to not have mosquitoes get you or catch malaria while you're hanging out somewhere in the Nile Basin. All right. So far, it's an SG. It's a pretty darn correct shape SG with an inventive variation on the SG Classic Pickguard. Um, it has a maple neck with a scarf joint. It's like a satiny finish. You know, you're low quality, made in China, but nothing special about the neck, but actually it's very, very smooth. Let's take off the string condom. And there you go, you can see what she looks like, right? Look at that. So, first impressions. The pick guard is actually cut well. Um, you may not like the fact that it's that big. There's actually, I'll put a picture up. There's a route that goes completely underneath here and just underneath the humbucker. But plenty of room that if you ever wanted to put another knob here or a flip switch and you wanted to route something extra to put a pick up there, you could do some things with it. Now, it has stop tail piece. It is the modern e Inton 81, which is good, at least still not Inton 80, but it's the saddles are in locations that should make intonation easy. It is an Allen adjustment from the back here, and this is adjust this to pull back or go forward to help with intonation. Um, tell you what, it's a basswood body. It's slightly thicker than a Gibson SG, probably due to having to have the set neck there to have enough wood there so that it didn't make it weak but it is the correct shape and it has the correct open book albeit maestro headstock now compared to a Gibson one I'll put a picture up right now you can kind of see that's a Gibson SG classic next to one of these at my buddy Danny's that's his one the bridge is actually a little further into the body because the neck meets the body kind of further in. So it's a little harder to get up to the upper frets than you would in a normal SG that would be kind of up closer here to your hand. Um, that's just also, I think, uh, part of the challenges of doing a bolt neck version of an SG and still having it be strong. But two very nice speed knobs. We like those, they turn easily. These are mini pots. You can see in the picture here of once again, that opened up with the guard, but it is at least um, insulated underneath here so that you shouldn't get any funky noises. Action out of the box is a little high. Uh, when Danny got his, although these are horrible. These are like nines, really bad. Probably will stretch till the day is over. Just bad, bad, bad um, strings. Um, overall, though, the fretboard on this one is quite pretty. The frets are ouchy as you go up and down, but they're not, not horribly so, but I will file those down to be part of the gig. So all in all, solid weight, probably six and a half pounds, maybe not seven quite, but close. Sits, well, like a lot of SGs, it does have some neck dive to it. Um,
what I will do is I'll tune it up quick and just try and get a feel for how good or bad the neck is. So I'm going to fast forward to that section, but you can still see it. Let's pause this tuning to tell you that these are the worst tuners I've ever felt in my life. It feels like you are turning through gravel. And, and for all of you, this isn't in tune, people. Uh, these strings, until they're broken in or just replaced, because they'll still stretch forever. They're cheap, 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 cheap. But oh, tuners are awful. Let's take a look at the neck. Truss rod could have just a little bit taken the curve, flatten out just a little bit. Frets are tiny. They're like 50s tiny. Um, but overall, fret level isn't too, too bad. Okay. We'll try it but just for a sec with the camera microphone. We're going to try the GM05. Give me one sec. I now remember the joys of practice amps. It's a drive channel. pedal with this amp because it compresses the hell out of it. It's pretty awful, but I still think you could have fun with this if it's all that you had. Um, yeah, I, I won't play that much. I'm just being honest. Anyway, this, my friends, is the Maestro by Gibson SG. Very smooth knobs. Out of the box, it is technically a guitar. It plays like a guitar. There actually aren't any visible body seams as I look at it. A lot of cheap guitars you can kind of, especially in black, you can make out where the multiple pieces of wood that they put together kind of came from. Sticky's on it. Um, this one you can't, which is impressive. And it is a very tasteful black on black. Now, what I have in store for this, well, stay tuned. I've already ordered the pickups. I've already ordered a new stop tail. I've already ordered new tuners. Thank God! I definitely have new strings for it. And I also have some stickery accompaniments from inlaystickers.com. They're not paying me to do that. I googled, I found them. They've got a lot of cool options to do if you want to do inlays on a body or on a headstock or put stuff on your fretboard, that kind of things. So, in the, our next video installment, this is step one, the unboxing. Danny has already unboxed his. Um, the next one you will see uh, from Danny's house. We'll be down there and we'll be installing all the stuff that we bought for each of ours and getting them all up and doing some play demos and we'll put up for you guys to think what you guys like most. Remember, we're just having fun with this. This is a little tongue in cheek. This was $79, 84 after tax for a guitar. But it looks right. It plays all right. The pickup is dog poop, um, but it makes noise at least. The volume and the tone knob work. I've had guitars from other main brands like the by Gibson. Um, th that didn't happen. And overall fit and finish is really without anything awful and glaring. The nut is, the nut's actually not bad. Um, I don't know if you really see up there. If I move my face, maybe. But um, the nut's not bad. The action's a bit high. Um, I'll take that down. 
fret dress, clean up anything that needs to be done there. Full setup. I'm still not sure if I'm going to switch the wiring harness or not. I do have two CTS pots that I could put in here. I think I've got 250s and 500s. I'll probably switch the tone cap. And we will we'll see what happens. So stay tuned for the next video. Until then, yeah, the Maestro by Gibson. Who knew? Who knew? Thanks, Shane from In the Blues. You sort of started us down this dastardly path. Anyway, I've been making mistakes. Yes, dear folks, I have issues. Take care. <laughs>